It's time for painting. Everybody has a name, but where the name came from and what it means, not everybody knows. Well, it's no secret, though. <laughs> the name breaks, but yes was given to me by my mum and dad when I was born. A little baby. <coughs> it's on my birth certificate. <laughs> but I never liked it. Mainly because I couldn't spell it right when I was growing up, so I sacked it. It was just simpler to be plain Nick Jones. And that's how it was until 1992, when I turned 40, and then everything changed. Everything. Everything. Dude, the weather's changed. Yeah. Good heavens. Well, they have been warning us about rain for about three hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> eventually come. Yeah, I was just saying there about when I when I hit my 40th and people started giving me cards and mugs and yeah. different things about my name. Well, particularly about Nicholas. Yeah, right. And uh, apparently it means leader. <laughs> Which I thought was a, a big joke because the only leading I'd ever done was up the garden path. Quite happy to be a joker. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Then a friend of mine came along and we were discussing this and they said they thought that I was a leader but not in the conventional sense of the word. Yeah. They saw me more like a pioneer with a panga and machete in my hand, right. hacking my yeah. way through the jungle. And this was like a really interesting thought. So a day or two later, I was pondering this. When I had what I can only describe as an open vision, in which I saw myself sat on a, like a dining room chair, and across my view came this spear in flight. And from this seated position, I leapt to my feet, grabbed the spear, and brought it down on my knee, broke it in two, chucked it on the floor, and sat down. And I'm going, what? <laughs> Did that just happen? I had the sense that the Lord was saying to me, what did I think of that? And I was still in shock. I said, pretty dumb thing to do. I mean, if I hadn't caught it right, I could have been kebabbed. <laughs> yeah. The second shock, I felt he said to me, no, what you saw was a daring act. And that's what I'm calling you to, to go and stop the traffic in the church and bring my word. So from that moment on, I put on this mantle of 
brake speed. And that gave birth to the whole brake speed rock theater. Um, and it's, um, yeah, I mean, Brakespear, now we know the story of how you've been given it, but what's it got to do with these secateurs that you found on the ground? Everything. That was another story that came nine years later. In fact, I was having lunch when it happened with a Jewish friend of mine. Jerusalem. And uh, we're talking about names. And he's called Kim. But that's not his real name, that's his sort of Brit name. Yeah. And he's telling me it actually came from the Hebrew word Chaim. Ah, uh, right, yeah. It, it, it means to laugh. Yeah, now I remember. Um... Yeah, you know, being in places where you see Israeli people, Jews, and they raise a glass to each other, don't That's they? Right. And they say, Lachaim to life. That's right. Yeah. 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 Well, imagine being called life. <laughs> yeah. What a name. It's a fantastic name. Anyway, he started to ask me about my name. Breakspear. So I'm telling him the backstory. My grandma's made name and that. All of a sudden, the waitress serving us takes an interest in the conversation. It's chatting away. I've never heard a name like that before. Anyway, it's just chit chat. You know? Yeah. At the end of the meal, she turns up and she says, uh, you know, your name got me thinking. And I, and I felt drawn to two scriptures. Anyway, I've written them down. Here you go. He passes me this slip of paper. Wow. So I thank her. Isaiah 2, Micah 4, both the same scripture. It says, and you will beat your swords into plowshares. Yeah. And your spears into the pruning puppets. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm thinking, and, you know, we've gone from warfare to peace. Yeah, fair enough. Weapons to agricultural implements. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't get past it. So I'm asking the Lord, am I missing something here? A couple of days later, I'm down on the coast in Ashkelon. I'm visiting an Israeli family who I know. And I says to the guy, Al, I said, uh, yeah, yeah. remember Al? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I says to him, uh, what do you know about pruning hooks? And he says, what's that? So I, I give him the slip of paper. And he said, well, let's have a look. And he grabs his... Bible, yeah. Hebrew Bible, ah, right, yeah. opens it up and he, he goes, oh, this is interesting. And I'm going, it is? <laughs> yeah. Like I can't read Hebrew. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just taking his word for it. And he says, this word is where we get the modern day term secateur from. Oh, wow. Right. You're getting it? Yeah. Uh -huh. How did he call it? He called it, was it Mesmayot? And he said, but the root of this word is another word. It's called Zamar. And it means singer. Right. What? We've gone, we've gone from war, peace, weapons, to agriculture, to singing? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm totally out of my depth here. Anyway, uh, it, it goes on to say, it's a taken in its entirety the scripture. Because you prune in the right season, in the season to come, you will sit under your vine and enjoy the fruit of your labour. Mm, nice. Because yeah. you pruned there. So this word, Zamar, it means singer. 
and you're a singer. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it's debatable. You sing. You sing. <laughs> yeah, half a dozen albums, not eight actually. <laughs> But that's irrelevant, really. When we hear singer, we think of a nice, sweet, melodic voice. I think forget that in this instance. Okay. Because this singing is about the sound that is made when the pruning hook strikes the branch so it's percussive yeah. think yeah. work song yeah you're not being delicate here you're not playing around you're doing a job of work So all of this is bringing into play a whole new picture, isn't it? So now we've got this beaten spear that becomes a, a pruning hook no. that cuts the branches on the vine. What a picture that is. Yeah. So I'm left with a big question. What's the song, Lord? Yeah. You want me to sing over your vine. <laughs> I hope it doesn't take another 20 years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I read the book. Now the book is reading me. I've read the book, but what does it mean? Page after page keep turning, day after day. So what have I been learning? I've read that book, now that book is reading me. Read that book, and this is what I've seen. 